Right, Helen, your challenge, should you choose to accept it, is to take these 12 nails, these 12 nails here, and balance them on top of that one nail. You're not allowed to use the wood, right. you're not allowed to nip off and buy some print stick or anything, right. okay? You have to balance these 12 nails on that one bit. Off you go. Oh, I like the thoughts, I like it. Yeah. Wow. Choosing the bullish move to balance them one on top of the other. Difficult. Very concentrated. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I will show you. I promise this is not a trick. Now, whilst I'm here, I'd like to let you know as well about this national science and engineering competition that's going on right now. Uh, if you're 11 to 18, you can enter it with any project uh, from science, technology, engineering or maths. Things that will include this. Now, this is all about finding the centre of gravity. Your centre of gravity is pretty much where the most, most of your weight is. So for men, apparently it's up by your shoulders, around this sort of area. For women, it's more down towards your hips, your centre of gravity. For Chirpy here, the reason he can balance on my finger like so is because his centre of gravity is up by his head, by, on his beak. If he was a normal bird, his centre of gravity would be on his chest, just around about there. So what I'm going to do, I hope, I really hope, is I'm going to show you how to balance these 12 nails on. I start with my one nail and I put it on the ground like that. I'm then going to use equal spacing and put them across one way, making sure everything's equal. And then I flip them over, the rest of the nails, and I do exactly the same on the other side with five nails. And then with the last nail, making sure they're all balanced, I put this nail over the top. Now here's where this goes wrong sometimes, so bear with me. I should then be able to pick them up like that, and then... Wahey! Twelve nails! On top of one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the centre of gravity. Gen